Good morning everybody. In today's video we'll be talking about the second hole at Wolf Creek which is a very long par 4 and it is made long by the fact that the green is far away 370 yards but most people would play to the middle of the fairway and then play their second shot onto the green and if it's a good shot it would then set you up for a birdie however walking away with a par here is not always a bad thing but the goal of today's video is to try and walk away with a birdie and I'm going to guide you on how to do that alright so with a better ball than I'm using right now this ball is rated at one distance so it doesn't fly very far but with anything like a three and a half maybe a four four and a half distance ball you could reach the green in one shot if the wind conditions are, are good I can carry with a 76 foot drop and a decent ball equipped I can carry 366 and land the ball on the green setting me up for an eagle putt However, not everybody has high level equipment, not everybody has high level golf balls. So we're going to be playing this with a goal of scoring a birdie. Now, the first thing to do is to know how far can you drive the ball. And because of the big drop in elevation, we know that we're going to get some extra yards out of this, despite the fact that we're hitting into a little bit of a side and headwind. I'm going to aim for about 320, 330 the 90 foot drop in elevation I'm going to give it full backspin just to make sure we get over these mountains over here we don't want the ball having any risk of coming into contact with the mountains plus we want the ball to fly and land softly so that we set up for a second shot over here alright so we're going to give it full power and see how it goes Perfect ding. All right. Good ball. Safely in the fairway. Slightly short of the 320. But nonetheless, we have a par 4 that we are looking at trying to birdie. All right, we've got 14 feet of elevation. I'm going to add about 5 yards to that shot and we are heading into a let's call it a seven mile an hour wind we're going to add about three yards for that so we're adding five plus three so we're adding, hitting at about 90 yards total see how the green is just sloping from left to right if you land on the left right here in front of the green it's also still sloping in front of the pin still sloping left to right so we can actually aim because of the wind the wind is going to bring the ball back so we can aim slightly right to the flag once the ball lands in this region hopefully it will kick a little bit to the right towards the pin we'll add a little bit of backspin because we are hitting in an elevated green which tends to kick the ball forward and we're going to give the shot about 90 yards power. Let's see how it works out for us. 90 yards power, my 100 yard wedge, 100 yard wedge. A bit early on the ding. But as you can see, slightly short of the flag, we have a very makeable putt left to right. We're going to try and get the second shot closer this time by doing a mulligan. Aiming slightly to the right. Giving it a touch of backspin. 90 yards power. Right, similar result. Makeable birdie. Now that we know that that distance is a little bit on the short side we want to add maybe nine maybe one or two yards power let's go for two 
I'm going to hit this at 92 yards with some backspin. 92%. And this should be a heartbeat. As you can see, that right to left wind is affecting the shot quite severely. I'm aiming outside the right edge of the flag and it's finishing left. We still have a very easy birdie putt but what we're going to try and do now is get this a little bit closer using that backspin again. I'm going to aim a little bit more to the right this time 92 yards power another heartbeat and this one's going to be closer for sure as you can see now it's slightly on that side whether you finish right of the pin, left of the pin, you left with a very easy birdie putt. Give it one more shot, I really want to try and get this one close. Okay, same story. The moral of the story is if you play your second shot well, you're left with a very easy birdie opportunity every time. And walking away with, an e uh, with a birdie here at Wolf Creek is an achievement. Easy birdie. That's it. I hope you've enjoyed the video. Please like and subscribe and thank you so much for watching.